Yea, and that also he will become a Jew himself. He go to all the world that will inhabit it and declare the power of the Most High. But for all this, his pains would not cease. For the just judgment of the Most High was come upon him. Therefore, the despairing of his health, he wrote unto the Jews a letter under, underwritten containing you the form of supplication after this manner. Antiochus, king and governor, to the good Jews, his citizens, wisheth much joy, health and prosperity. I mean, they do that now, though. I mean, you know, Trump would give a speech and wish, wish everybody well. They even read, uh, twice, read, say the Lord's Prayer. They don't mean that shit. Because you said he wishes. Like the scriptures say, it says his words are smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. Hey, that's they are uh, heathens always trying to get a blessing. Yep. Oh, it says, Not distrusting my health, but having great hope to escape the sickness. But considering that even my father, at what time he led an army into the high countries, appointed with successor, to the end that if anything fell out contrary to expectations, or if any tidings were brought that were grievous, they of the land, knowing to whom. The state was left might not be troubled. Again, considering how that the princes that are born and neighbors unto my kingdom wait for an opportunity and expect what shall be the gift I have appointed my son Antiochus King, whom I often committed and commended unto many of you, I went up into the high provinces to whom I have written as follows. Therefore I pray and request you to remember the benefits that I have done. And it's special that everything is still faithful to me in my soul. For I am persuaded that he, understanding my mind, will faithfully repent and graciously yield to your desire. Thus the murderer and blasphemer, having suffered much grievances, as he entreated other men, so died he a miserable death in this strange country. In strange country. Good thing coming for Esau, man. Ain't nothing good coming for Esau, man. Nothing. That's, nothing. Right. That's, That's right. the spirit, too. Uh, the, the Alexander also got sick and died. He died in a strange country. He wanted to go conquer the whole world and go to the mother country. He died and he didn't, never even got to go home and have the victory parade. You know what I mean? The most high kills is that. He got sick. Syphilis, proto AIDS. <laughs> Syphilis actually kills you. You can stop your heart, you can go blind, you can lose your hearing, you know, lose the sense of smell or taste. Or, or, or like I said with your boy right there, Most High could have created a new disease. That's right. Like some AIDS, AIDS or something. Yeah. He hit his ass with something. Because <laughs> if he would have let Alexander continue, Boy, he, he would have just kept going. Yeah. Because as soon as he died, what? What happened? After Alexander died, every, every after the Esau is greedy. And Satan's always divided against himself. And if Satan's divided against himself, how could his kingdom stand? Yeah, I like how it says incurable and invisible. Yeah, incurable and invisible. <laughs> and they still got them plagues. I mean, this is what AIDS is. Well, you go to the doctor, doctor, we're going to tell us about how to Oh, if you got you got this influence or whatever, whatever. But that shit was invisible. They couldn't look at the shit without nothing. 
you even read in the curses too though. The Lord said he even hit us with plague. If we don't follow the commandments, he hit us with an itch. Give you that incurable itch. He'll give you, hit you with lice. Yeah, the stank. The stank. That stank, that man, that stank is real. <laughs> the stank is real. I test <laughs> It's a stank that can't be washed out. Psalm <laughs> <laughs> 65 and uh, 5. It says, By terrible it's like it, by terrible things and righteousness will thou answer us, O God of our salvation, who art the confidence of all the ends of the earth, and of them that fall upon the sea. Which by his strength set it fast the foundations, it's like a mountain, which uh, it's like a being girdled with power. Now let's get to uh, uh, Psalm 66, verse 1. And down. It says, Make a joyful noise, make a joyful noise unto God, or ye lands. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. That's it. That's the point. Hey, that's what we're doing right now, though. You know what I mean? We out here praising the Lord's name. And people get mad at you for it. And the main people that get mad at you is people who are so called Christians. They claim they love the Bible, boy, but you read that Bible, <laughs> you're the devil. These people are unbelievable. Yep. They say he was healing people in the name of the devil. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. That's these people, man. That's these people, man. Yeah, to God. How terrible art thou in thy work? Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves unto thee. Oh boy, he said, he had that disease. He said, uh, submit ourselves to God. But the Lord, something that we're here, he said unto God, How terrible art thou in thy power in thy work? Like, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves unto thee. You have no choice, like uh, Nezekinezek. Like, oh shit, man. And he said, that's the real most high. That's the true power. Of course, they're not going you know, to get what you get. But, you know, still, but the heathens going to be in submission. You know what I'm saying? The heathens going to fear. It says, all the earth shall worship thee. It shall sing unto thee. It shall sing thy name, Salah. I was talking real quick. Just like, it reminds me in the book of Judas. Remember when the uh, the, the general of the army uh, tried to tell the, the, uh, the king, that like, man, if you mess with Israel and if their God is with them, oh, oh, we ain't gonna win. <laughs> and he won't listen. He's like, okay, we about to get fucked up. <laughs> Cause they knew all that he the heathen nations knew that if it, if the Israel uh, God was with them, that, you, that it was untouchable. You could you couldn't defeat them. That's our spirit. We yeah. know the most with us, man. So we out we out here, we know we know we we untouchable, man. Like uh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh's ass, uh, he was going to let the people go, but the most high heart is heart. So. Yep. <laughs> that's, what, that's what's going to bring hell on this earth when this devil do make his mind to come after us. He don't give a fuck about these things, he worried about us, man. So the most high can make his move when he make his move on us, Because we out here waking people up, they don't like that. We're the problem. We're the one that's considered for truth. Uh, 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 yeah, we, we like uh, yeah, like in a Matrix movie. They coming after us like we Neo and Morpheus That's and shit. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, they was coming like oh uh, fucking uh, terrorists. Yeah, there. it still is. Well, black Hebrew. That's why. And that's why. Uh, because yeah, this, we ain't obviously we ain't no <laughs> black Hebrew Israelites. We just black. Israelites. Yeah, and that's the thing. Oh, my fault. Go ahead and finish that scripture, man. He already got that scripture. Go to numbers. What was your? I wasn't. I wasn't listening, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you good? Oh, I don't want to change the subject. No, oh, yeah, it'd be good. We just in the spirit anyway. There's only one subject. You know what I mean? Psalm 66 and 5 it says, "Come and see the works of God. He is terrible in His doings toward the children of men. He turned the sea into a dry land." That went through the flood on foot, there did he rejoice in him. He ruleth by his power forever. His eyes behold the nations, let not the rebellious rebellious exalt themselves a lot. Yes, sir. The devils, they, they always exalt, they, just, they, they exalt themselves like the eagle. You know, they think they like the most high. They, they said there is no most high. They, they, uh, 
set themselves up to be the most high by painting pictures of a seizure and make it seem like the white is just thing to be. That's crazy. That's real. Because they really believe it. And they put their face on the money and everything. Hey, you notice something too. The devil, he always put his face on the money. When you look back at the ancient Israelite coins, like during the Hasmodean dynasty, guess whose face was on the money? Nobody's face. It had uh, just some Hebrew writing, had a menorah on there. You know what I mean? You know, that's an Esau proud. He want because he want to be exalted. Even the Caesar was worshipped as a god. And what, after every Caesar died, they he'd be deified. You know? You had something called a cult of the emperor. And when a president dies in America, boy, they, they pretty much worship his ass. Yeah, a cult of, a cult of, they had the word cult. A cult of personality. And, and Ron, Ronald Reagan was the last one to die. And he was a, that damn parade was a mile long, about 20 miles long. Yeah. It's a number 24. I'm gonna start at nine. It says he he, he uh, couched. He he laid down the coffin. He looked down at the lion. And as a uh, Balaam, I believe his name, talking about Israel, it says, "Who shall store him up? Blesses he that blesseth thee, and curses he that curseth thee." And Balak's anger was kindled against Balaam. He smote his hands together. Balak said unto Balaam. I call thee to curse my enemies, and behold, thou hast altogether blessed them these three times. Therefore now flee thou into that place. I thought to promote thee unto great honor, but lo, Yahweh hath kept thee back from honor. And Balaam said unto Balak, Balak, speak I not also to thy messengers, but thou sittest unto me, saying that Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold. I cannot go beyond the commandment of Yahweh to do either good or bad of my own mind. But what Yahweh said, that will I speak. And now behold, I go unto my people, come therefore, and I will uh, 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 advertise thee, but this shall, this people shall be to thy people in the latter days. I'm trying to find a part where he said, uh, who the most high bless you can't curse. Yeah, that's 23 and 23, right? Well, that's around there, I think. No, that's when it says no enchantments against Israel. Is it 23rd read, chapter? Yeah, I'm going to read that number goes down. It's, uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, Hurry up, camera about to die. Uh, number 23, 23. Surely there's no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any indignation against Israel. Your curses according, don't work on us. Go. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and Israel, will have God wrought. Behold, the people shall rise up as a great lion, lift up himself with a young lion. He shall not lie down until the people pray and drink the blood of the sand. Slam. And Glock said unto Balaam, neither curse them at all, nor bless them at all. Said, and but Balaam answered and said unto Balak, told not I thee, saying, All they have speaketh, that must I do. Main point is, they can't be saved. They can't. I mean, even the heathens know that Israel got the one true power. You have a boss from you have a son. Hey, what What's up? One more. Go ahead, you got there's, it. there's a scripture that says uh, that if you if your ways please the most high, he gonna make your enemies at peace with you. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like that money, man, that's uh curse curses. Walk around with that money. That's, that's nothing but curses and shit. Curse the money. Oh, the money is a. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's a. It's a what's the word? A, a magical charm. Yeah. A magical talisman. That's the word. It, that's why it has all those magical symbols on the dollar. Cause it's witchcraft. What's up, homie? <laughs> <laughs> all right, then, y'all. Shalom. <laughs> Camera's about to die. All praises to you. How about some Yahweh?